me. <laughs> so this is called this is called sensible pumps. Oh. She had stepped off the curb in her sensible pumps, standing solid like rocks that the crazed coast could not in its churning disturb. As she stood at the light, shopping at Herald Square, but before she touched down, her pumps pressing the air, finding traction, took flight. So she hovered in space, a new heavenly orb, with a surface of wool and firm buttons of bone, homing steadily apace through the tangling throng in her sensible pumps that had braced through the years her allotment of men hmm. ostentatiously strong, rotting slowly with smoke, rigged with wingtips and ties, relic greaves and breastplates, stone colossi hmm. until they strode into a stroke. <laughs> As she moved unbeheld through the mind-blinding crowd, one young shopper who saw her alight off the ground, effortlessly propelled, felt her souls almost rise, and so turning, ran back past adornments and scents to the pumps on their shelves to uncover her size. <laughs> well. there you have it. There you have it. So this is this is something very new, which is nice. I didn't think I'd write anything new anymore, but here's something new. Uh, <clears throat> this is called Desert Rivers. A desert creature knows that time and place are traces where a desert river flows. Up close, rivers are eloquent with tinkling ghosts of date or fig haunting the river scent. A memory of tree-filled sky excites the sands that touch in disbelief, amazement flowing by. A desert creature understands that deserts wait beneath the trees and deserts travel deep within the sands. Even from miles above the continent, behind space rock-resistant window panes, recessed in some small tin-type capsule meant to keep the cosmos on the other side, the river's flanks are glimmering with earthbound stars riding the cosmic tide. Mm -hmm.